Hey guys, welcome to this video on the SAS programming language. So in this video, we're going to talk about SAS comments. And there are two basic ways to create a SAS comment. One is called the block comment, and the other one is called the comment statement. So the block comment starts off with a slash, a star, and then your uh, block statement. And that could be whatever you want it to be, but it must be ended by a star and a slash. All right. So let's go ahead and write a program and use that comment. So first thing I'm going to do is um, I want to create a program that creates a temporary data set called Microsoft Stock. So let's use comments here to give a good description of what our program will do. Okay, so we want to create a temporary data set called Microsoft stock. All right. So let's start um, creating our program now with our data block. So we have data and we call it Microsoft stock. And we're going to use the set uh, SAS help dot stocks data set or table. And we want all of these stock that equals Microsoft. And then we're going to end this with our run statement. And then we probably want to print uh, this data set. So I'm going to use the block um, comments again. So it's going to say print the data and end it with the star slash. So we're going to use the proc block, proc print, and we're going to use the new data set that we just created called Microsoft Stock. And we're going to end this with our run statement. And so let's go ahead and run this and see uh, what we get. All right, so it looks like our print statement here printed all of the stocks that contain Microsoft. So we can see all the prices here, the um, open price, the date, the high price, the low price, the close price, um, the volume, and so on. And then we can see our data set in the output data here that we created uh, full of Microsoft stock. All right. So now let's go back here. And this time, let's use a block. Um, instead of a block comment, this time we're going to use a comment statement. And to use a comment statement, it is a star followed by the comment uh, text or a statement. And then it ends with a semicolon. All right. So you can put anything in between here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and erase that there. And we're just going to put a star here because we already have a semicolon at the end. So it's going to get rid of that where clause for us or that where statement. And um, now our Microsoft stock data set will contain everything that the SAS help stocks table contains. So let's go ahead and run that. And then we're going to print it, of course. OK, so now we can see uh, in the results here, we get IBM stock. Um, let's see here. We got Intel and we have Microsoft. All right, so we get back everything. And then our output data set now, of course, contains all of that as well. OK. So thank you, guys. Um, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.